So I, I've been sitting almost all day today. This morning I woke up, I had a meeting, and then right afterwards I went to my favorite coffee shop and I sat down and I edited two videos. I edited the video that I shot three days ago and then I finished the video I shot two days ago, but I've just been sitting all day. And so right now it's, it's a quarter to eight. Um, and I'm gonna go run it out. And the sun's just getting low in the horizon and I think it's beautiful outside. light on my face. See what this does. Oh, that works. Let me go back. So, I take my camera out like this and I shoot. I shoot a lot. I have a lot of like projects on hard drives because I like to capture what's going on. I like to shoot. You know, I'm a, I'm a camera nerd at heart. What I don't do a lot though is edit. Editing is like a bottleneck for me. It's the one thing that keeps me from getting these stories in front of you. I have so many projects built up on my hard drives and some of, my, some of those projects I know aren't complete stories, but the ones that are that just need the editing, they're just sitting there. They're just sitting there dying or dead on a hard drive. You know, like they're not like, it's like having a bunch of Legos, but not putting them together. If you don't edit your video, you never really make anything. It's like letting your story die before you even give birth to it. And over the last three days, that's what I've realized. And it's not new to me. I'm used to, you know, leaving stories behind. But, you know, I started four days ago with the idea of I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to kill my stories before they even have a chance to breathe. And if editing is my weakness, that's where my attention needs to be. And this morning, I edited two videos because I didn't want to leave them on hard drives to die. So Macklemore has this quote that says, great artists aren't great because at birth they could paint, but because they painted a lot. It's the whole 10,000 hours rule, right? Well, I think that's actually the song's name is 10,000 hours. So when I think about that quote from Macklemore, I kind of think about what I'm doing with running. You know, like the very first run is so hard and it's the most intimidating and it's the poorest performance that you have. But you know, like you do it again and again and you improve. Like anything else, you do it again and again and you're gonna improve. And what I'm learning right now is that with improvement, not only do you get better at it and whatnot, but you gain control. And that's what I'm starting to learn is that control is so important. You know, like in running, now that I've had, you know, I only have like 10 runs under my belt. Like I've only ran, le today might've been my 10th run probably less. I've only been running for like the last two weeks, but I'm starting to gain control. It's not like my first run where I had to give max effort until I finished. I can run slower now. I can run faster. I can run, run longer. I can run shorter. I have control and I want that with my editing. Like I want to gain more control over editing. I want to be able to always be able to make a video at the end of the day, just like I've been improving the last, you know, 10 runs or so. I want to do the same thing with editing. I don't want to have to sit down for a half a day or three quarters of a day and edit. I'd rather have more control over that time and package that work just like running. You know, I just need to edit over and over and over and over again, just like putting in run after run after run after run. And I, I want to gain control. That's what I want to do. And that's what I'm doing with this is constantly going out, doing what I'm good at, which is shooting, capturing, documenting, but then working on my weaknesses editing, the turnaround, the back end, you know, the Legos, putting them together. And when I feel like I have control, one, I'll be able to stop talking about making videos so much. And I'll be able to focus on the other stories outside of that. And I will also feel a lot less stressed doing this. Not that I'm stressed too much, but I have this fire inside of me to get this skill set 
down. It's been there for a while and I'm just starting to execute on it. And it's been a long process, but I'm getting there. You know, the funny thing about running though, I just want to run the biggest mountains out there. So I'm going to keep this, this story, this vlog short. I still have yesterday's video to edit and I need to edit this. It's about 10 to 10 right now in the PM and I still haven't dealt with any of this stuff in my room. Oh, and it's just getting messier in here. It's kind of, I really got to figure out this like final, final stage of putting all my stuff in the van. I thought I had it figured out, but I still think I have too much stuff. So I'm going to leave you guys with that and I'll see you tomorrow.